today we're out at a farm in Mountain Home picking up our bacon seeds. So we got four bacon seeds and I gotta show you guys, I am so obsessed with these horses we got out here. And they have a thoroughbred over there. So let's see, not that one, that one right there. He used to be on the racetrack, but he fell and got hurt several years back. So now he just does buggy rides and things like that. But he is so pretty, I am absolutely obsessed. So this is what we give our pigs because it's the best mix that we've found um, as far as meat and protein ratios um, that avoids putting heavy amounts of fat on them. So we get this show feed pig, pig food from DMB and then we have a local ranch that we go to that they do a hog grower mix and cracked corn. Now our pigs always tend to like these pellets over here. Um, they just eat that really well. They're not super into the hog grower, but it has a lot of extra supplemental stuff in it um, that's also locally grown that I just think is really good for them. And then the cracked corn is kind of a treat, so they don't get as much of that. So they'll get two scoops of each of these, the hog grower and the show feed, and then they'll get one scoop of that all mixed into this bucket, and then they'll be given that two to three times a day till they get bigger. And by the time that they're ready to butcher, they're gonna be eating about 10 pounds of feed a day each per pig. So we'll be going through 40 pounds of feed every day by the time that they're ready to butcher. Some of you might be wondering why we don't just free feed our pigs. And we do, especially once they get bigger. But when they're little, um, especially when we first get them, I like to really control what they're eating just to make sure that they're not sick. Um, that the food we're not giving them is making them sick and just having a little bit more control that way. And they get fed two or three times a day. So I like it doing it that way better. Also, they like to dump their food out really quick. And right now we're in the middle of spring and early summer and they have a tendency to dump their food out and then it gets all muddy because of the rain. And so it ruins half of what we give them. So I like to give them smaller amounts simply because of that. Between the rain and them dumping it out, um, part of it just gets ruined. So controlling the feed and giving them smaller amounts several times a day, they're getting more that way than they are destroying what's put in their bucket. So now we're gonna move the pigs over from the kennel that we transported them in from Mountain Home over into the, the pen. And I'll show you how we grab them. I'm gonna have Ben grab one. And you carry them by the thigh part of their back legs upside down. And they don't squeal as much or try and kick. It's not gonna say that they'll be entirely silent because pigs don't really like being handled, but they're not as loud. <laughs> Hold 
one right, hold him up here. So where you're gonna hold him is right here. So you're gonna, hold on, move your hand. You're gonna grab Mr. Pig and you just carry him like, like that. And then put one hand kind of down behind his head. Like that, there you go. And then there's Coda, our sweet, sweet girl. <laughs> There we go. One down, three to go. It's really funny because the first few days that they're in here, they really don't know what to do. And so they're kind of exploring and they, they usually want to stay in the little barn area. Um, the first few days that they're out here, they're so used to being on dirt that the concrete does make their little feet sore for a couple of days, but otherwise they're fine. Pigs don't actually need to be in mud. They're only in mud because they can't sweat like we do. And so we usually have misters up and we come out and we spray them down in the summers when they on really hot days. They've already discovered the food. No, they actually just discovered the water. Yes. Little bacon seeds. Mr. Happy Face. Mom, it's Mr. Happy Face. Yeah. You like that one? I think you guys like all of them. You want to hold one, Lucas? Good job, guys. Sometimes I feel like the bottom of this is going to snap. Okay, right there is good. Alright, sit down. Alright, come on out. So one of the pigs almost got out of the 4x4 four four squares that we have for the paneling. So we decided to stick them in the barn. They're pretty scared anyway. So we just figured we'll keep them in the, in the pig barn for a couple of nights. That way they can get used to their new environment. So we put up a sheet of plywood. And right now, they're just huddled back there in the corner. All four of them, but they have their food and water in there and plenty of straw and they're covered and out of the wind so we don't have to worry about any of the wind or the rain or anything getting to them so until they get used to their new environment this will be a good space for them to hang out in